Where were the police? The question being asked by pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong, a day after demonstrators were beaten by masked thugs. Video of the attack has sparked an outcry. It shows men wearing white t-shirts, storming a train at the UN Long Station and laying into anti-government protesters. Many only had umbrellas to protect themselves. I saw someone beaten to the floor and bleeding all over. I tried to tell them that I wanted to help him, but they wouldn't let me. They were holding all kinds of weapons. Then they came over and attacked me. According to witnesses, the police took more than an hour to show up. They also failed to make a single arrest, despite video footage and eyewitness testimony of the incident. But pro-China lawmakers say the police are already overworked. We can all see that the police have been under extreme pressure in the past few weeks and they, have, they are actually overstretched. So I think you have to look at the, uh, the alleged slow, slowness of police response in the broader context. A triad gang is thought to be behind the attack. Criminal gangs have already been linked to several violent attacks against activists in the past, including in 2014 when thugs attacked protesters during the Occupy movement. The violence has been slammed by Hong Kong's government. It came after police fired tear gas and rubber bullets at demonstrators, the latest in a series of anti-government protests that have shaken Hong Kong for two months.